Russia is falling apart. Arbatov is dead. As far as we can tell, executed by the military as a scapegoat for the fiasco in the Baltic. Most of the country is under martial law, with soldiers patrolling the streets and curfews enforced in the major cities. It's unclear how much support the ultranationalists really have in the military. There are widespread reports of soldiers refusing to fire on civilians or even to leave their barracks. Our goal is to whittle down the base of support for the leaders of the coup. As a result, we're launching a series of covert raids against key military bases that are backing the ultranationalists. Your first target is a naval base at Murmansk. It's the headquarters of their northern fleet and a major operations center for their submarine service. Take a demolitions expert and blow the sub pens and any other targets that appear promising. You'll have to move quick. Once the alarm is raised, base security will be all over you. Good luck. You're going to need it. All right. So let's see what kind of team we are going to take. Charges should be enough. Mm, fresh seafood. Keep it quiet. Weapons free. Fire at will. We're gone. Roger that. Got it. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. At all costs. Moving out. Kill confirmed.
Another kill.
but a short cutscene as the subs exploded. So let's see if this next mission will be us on or not really. It looks like civil war. The centrists in the government and the military have formed an alliance against the ultranationalists. We're getting reports of Russian on Russian fighting from Smolensk to Vladivostok. We're continuing our strategy of raids against military bases that are backing the coup. Your next target is the airbase at Archangelisk. It's the test site for both the S-37 Burkut, a new experimental fighter prototype, and the Ka-50 Hokum, Russia's next generation attack helicopter. Your objectives are to plant demo charges in both the Burkut and Hokum hangars, as well as completely shutting down operations in the control tower. Intel indicates that security at Archangelisk is light. Apparently there's been a sharp increase in the number of desertions since the coup, so don't worry about trying to finesse your way in. Based on our analysis, the best approach is a direct frontal assault. Hit them hard and fast and get out as quickly as possible. Alright, so let's get to it. Guys, with demo charges, should be enough. The gate's unguarded. Maybe they all went home. At all costs. No fear. We're gone. Confirmed. Engaging in force. history. Fear. 
Kill confirmed. East history. about exploding stuff. Early reports indicate that the centrist forces are stalled in their fight with the ultranationalists. Popular support for the ultranationalists has withered away to practically nothing. They lost all legitimacy when they executed the president, but they still control a sizable chunk of the military. Acting Prime Minister Karpin has privately requested a NATO force to help the loyal Russian troops crush the coup. First Armored Division has already crossed the Latvian border and is headed for Moscow. Satellite images show the main ultranationalist force massing near Torapek, about 200 clicks east of our current position. Your mission is to link up with them and spearhead the assault. Expect extremely heavy resistance, armor, spetsnaz, the works. You'll need to take both passes through the mountains and hold them against all Russian counterattacks. But if we achieve a breakthrough here, the coup is finished. All right, so we have to make a team. Uh, we're gonna stick with you. But we definitely... We want you to have that. What other specialists do we have? MG3 Man, seems nice, but eh, ain't gonna bother. 